Welcome to Kyogen's Bench tutorial on the parameters influencing successful gel extraction. First of all, let's take a look at the gel extraction procedure using Kyogen's Kyaquick gel extraction kit. After solubilizing the gel slice, isopropanol and binding buffer are added. Adding the solution to the Kyaquick column results in binding of DNA fragments to the silica matrix. After washing off impurities and residual salts, the DNA fragments are eluted from the column. In this bench tutorial, we will focus on the gel extraction step in molecular biology workflows. We'll take a closer look at different parameters and their influence on the performance of this application. In the first part, we'll focus on agarose gel-related parameters, while the second part of the tutorial examines gel extraction-related parameters. The first evaluation parameter is the agarose quality used for electrophoresis. In this study, standard agarose and ultra-pure agarose were compared. Additionally, the influence of the running buffer TAE or TBE was analysed. Two fragment sizes, a 100 base pair fragment and a 500 base pair fragment, were tested. For each test, 1 microgram and 4 micrograms of DNA were applied to the column. The experiment has shown that the recovery rate is always slightly increased when applying more DNA to the column. If all other parameters remain unchanged, buffer TBE results in a slightly lower recovery rate than buffer TAE. The use of ultra-pure agarose does not have a significantly positive effect on the recovery rate. The key finding is that standard agarose is sufficient for high recovery rates of DNA. Another important parameter during gel extraction is the freshness of the running buffer. We've selected the more common running buffer, buffer TAE, for our experiment, comparing the effect of fresh and four-week-old running buffer on the recovery rates. The data show that the freshness of the running buffer has no effect on the recovery rate. To sum up, neither the quality of the agarose or the age of the running buffer has a negative impact on the recovery rates. Choosing TAE over TBE running buffer may increase the recovery rate slightly. Now that we have covered agarose gel related parameters, we will move on to the second part of our bench tutorial, where we'll take a closer look at gel extraction related parameters. Based on the size of your desired DNA fragment, you may have already noticed variations in the recovery rate. Comparing recovery rates from different fragment sizes ranging from 0.5 to 7.2 kb, a slight decrease in DNA recovery has been observed for larger fragments. Another important parameter in the gel extraction procedure is the binding buffer, buffer QG. We tested the Kaya Quick gel extraction protocol with a reduced volume of buffer QG and the data suggests that, in general, reduction of the binding buffer volume is possible without reducing the DNA recovery rate. During the buffer step, not only does the volume of the binding buffer play an important role, but also the centrifugation speed. Comparing different centrifugation speeds, ranging from 2000 RPM to 13000 RPM, a correlation between centrifugation speed and recovery rate becomes apparent. A reduced centrifugation speed has an overall positive effect. Increasing the incubation time of the elution buffer increases DNA recovery. This is especially apparent with larger fragments. To conclude, the Kyaquick gel extraction protocol is a very robust procedure. Using it in combination with the optimized parameters discussed in this tutorial should help maximize recovery of DNA, especially of larger fragments.
Thank you for participating in this bench tutorial. We hope that you have found it useful.